All right, so when someone retires and they talk about things that they're going to do in retirement, mm -hmm. the things you usually hear are traveling sure. and socializing or joining yeah. clubs or groups or golfing or whatever. There's one group of seniors in Wisconsin traveling off the beaten path to keep their social lives all revved up. We're going to focus on them in our In Search Of report. Stop by this little country store near Richland Center on any given Tuesday and you'll likely bump into some regulars. Smile, you're not in the camera. These seniors are all part of the same club that meet up for coffee and conversation before the real fun begins. This is holy me. <laughs> Say hello to the members of Wisconsin's very own Moped Gang. Back Road Express Rider. In the 1990s. Um, one of the original ones. They are typical retired seniors looking to buck the typical retired tendencies. I was a little bit leery about joining, but after you're retired, you gotta have something to do. <laughs> and so uh, I thought, well, I'll act foolish and get on a moped. Their weekly travels are as varied as the men who take them. We have bankers, we have ex-policemen, we have school teachers, we have farmers. Their destination is not nearly as important as how they get there. We like the back roads and we was on roads that you, you didn't know existed. And we find that sometimes too, we get lost. <laughs> The back roads are the backbone of their travels, but it's the bikes that turn heads. These are Urban Express and the Honda. They were made in 82 and 83. We used to ride bikes, but riding bikes in Richland County is not a lot of fun because it's uphill and downhill. So riding the mopeds, it's great. It's just like riding a bike, only you don't have to pedal. Yep. <laughs> There's 14, so seven and seven. Our rides range from, oh heavens, probably 75 miles to 150 miles. We used to go from bar to bar, now we go from restaurant to restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> They admit they have to stop a little more often than they used to. The, the biggest part is about after about 80, 90 miles, my seat gets really sore. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. There's times when ladies aren't present. There's cornfields available. And we, we sometimes relieve ourselves there. Born to be wild. Making sure the corn is high enough. Yeah, right? a, little, a little extra. Born to be wild. Increasing age comes increasing challenges. Getting on and getting off. <laughs> I never knew any of these uh, people before I became started riding, and we really look forward to that ride every week. I think it keeps you younger. As you can see, we've got some guys 89 years old still riding. It's just fun to get together and celebrate. At our age, you know, you never know. After lunch, home comes a calling. Why do they want to head for home? Everybody needs a nap in the afternoon. <laughs> they don't take the straightest path or the shortest path. They don't want to. Because if there is one thing these men have learned over the years, it's that life can be even sweeter on a ride down the roads less traveled. With photographer John Schmidt, Jennifer Livingston, News 8. <laughs> I love it. They were so much fun to follow. Yeah, you can and tell. Uh, a couple of added facts for you. So their top speed on those mopeds is usually about 28 miles per hour going oh. downhill. Going Not uphill, very fast, yeah. <laughs> it's that whopping 12 to 14 ah, miles an hour. We were hey, following them with our car. Time. It was like put 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 put. <laughs> <laughs> but that's 
what they say is so great because they take their time and yeah. they can take in the beauty and the That's surroundings right. and these anything. back roads. Yeah. Uh, but they're definitely not speed demons. There are about 60 members of the Back Road Express riders. Most of them are retired. Most of them are men. But there are some younger ones and there are some women as well. And, and, and when they're around, they can't visit the cornfields, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. That's right. When the ladies aren't <laughs> present. Yeah. Not all of them ride every week, but the, you know they do get a pretty good showing each Tuesday when they go on their rides. And they've lost about 25 members over the years. And every funeral that they attend, they all go wearing those red jackets. Oh, Isn't cool. that really That's cool? Great. It's a That's very great. close fun. group of people yeah. and a really, really fun story. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back.